everyone, so today we're gonna to be going to Pixar Putt Putt, and I wanted to show you guys what I was gonna to wear to the event, I guess. We booked our tickets about two weeks ago. Um, they're non-refundable, so it's a super hot day in our city, so we're gonna sweat, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing, so I am wearing my Femme de Bloom earrings, they're Mike and Sully, and my Cake Worthy shirt, along with my Harvey's bag, and I moved my little plushie over from my booze door, and my, I call them my Mike Wazowski Vans, because they match him so well, but, so I'm gonna take you guys along with us and hopefully show you guys a little bit of the golf course, the putt-putt area, and hopefully this is well and it's entertaining and informative, I guess, in ways, but I'll talk to you guys soon. So I hope you guys got a kind of feel of what the putt putt looked like with Pixar putt. Um, it was really fun. We really had a great time. As you can tell in the videos, I tried to take very discreet videos. I was very cognizant of all the people. I didn't want like to get anybody's way. And I was also playing. So I was trying to like take videos and play at the same time with everyone and be like in the moment. So it was my first attempt at vlogging. Hopefully it wasn't like too jumbled and it kind of flowed and I'll, I can only get better. I keep telling myself. So I did want to kind of give you my final thoughts and how much we paid for everything. Um, first things first, I know that they're going to be traveling. So they're going to be leaving where I'm at now. They're going to be going soon to Chicago. So I will link their website down below. Maybe they'll be coming to a city near you if you are interested in checking it out. For affordable weekday prices, it's $30.50 for adults and $25.50 for children. 
There's a family pack they offer, which is $99, which is two adults and two children. They don't recommend that you have more than four people for your group because it's a lot more difficult for you more than four. And I did see that. Like, I didn't have more than four. We had four in our party, but I saw a party in front of us that had like six or seven. And I could see that it was like, you could tell they were like trying to hurry because they, they felt like, I guess, pressure. I mean, nobody was pressuring them to hurry, but I think, the, you know, that pressure you put on yourself, I think they were feeling that. Um, for the After Dark, which is what we paid for. Now, After Dark starts after seven here. That's what it was here. So after seven, it's adults only. So there's no children. It's Adults only is called Pixar, put, put, put after dark, I guess. That's what we purchased. Those tickets for adults were $32.50. So it's $2 more if you're going to go after dark. So $32.50 plus fees and taxes for two people, which was me and my husband. It came out to $75.88. Now you can even put a, can, I don't know, what is it, like a fee to protect them for $6.50 to protect your tickets. Because they're non-refundable and they are basically like, that's it. If you don't go, you don't go. You lose out on your tickets. If you pay the six fifty, I think it covers it. I didn't pay the, the six fifty cover charge or like protection. I guess the protection fee. I didn't pay that. So it's kind of like we're gonna go because they're seventy five dollar tickets. Um, that is a, a bit for you know mini golf. Um, I haven't really gone to play mini golf recently, but I know mini golf. It can be pricey. It is eighteen holes. Um, if you noticed in my videos, we started at hole ten. So they had us do 10 to 18 first, and then we went back and did one through nine. So it is 18 holes. It took us two hours. They did say that it would take two hours, and it really did take us two hours. We had a reservation time of 7.30. That's when we bought our tickets. But they give you your tee off time is 7.30. They give you 30 minutes to come. So you have up until 8 to come. I didn't know that that was like that until I got the email the night before. So the night before, I got the email saying that I had 30 minutes for me and my party to arrive, and we can play. I think that kind of caused a little bit of a jam up in areas because you have all these people coming. So everyone has 30 minutes. So then people start coming or people come at their eight o'clock. I don't know if let them come early. I don't think you can come early, but there, there tended to be like some jams of people in certain areas. There's like certain holes that were really hard. So then you had a lot of people just kind of waiting. Hole um, eight, which was the cocoa hole, the last one that we took, that one seemed to have a lot of people like taking a long time. So we were kind of stood there like a roadblock. But there was like probably four groups of people just like waiting to go through it. But I think After Dark was fun. I really do. I loved it. I had a great time. I'm a Disney person. I love Pixar. So it was great for me. And I know my family had a really good fun time too. My cousin did take her niece and they went right before us when it was not After Dark. So the, she went during the daylight time and she took a little girl. She did say that it was really hot. So they, it was really hot. They don't have, um, they didn't have, they, when we went, they did have food trucks. So I guess they had drinks. We took our own drinks because my brother-in-law had went prior to, and he told us to take water. So we did take water. They don't have like restroom facilities. They have porta potties. So I mean, I don't know if that's something to consider, but um, overall we did enjoy it and we would probably do it again if they came because it's a pop-up type of an entertainment. It's not permanent. So I was really glad that we were able to go and experience it and hopefully you guys enjoyed experiencing it with me and us through the videos so i did go with my brother my sister and her boyfriend and then my husband so it was us four it was like a double date with me and my sister and uh, my husband and her boyfriend but we had a really fun time and i definitely recommend it i know it's a little pricey for putt putt but if you enjoy putt putt it's kind of like the same price as bowling i guess because i mean I'm trying to think like the last time we went bowling, like bowling two games, it's about $25 a person. So, I mean, the only thing is maybe if you buy the tickets at the front of the putt-putt, you don't pay the service fee charge, um, which is like $5.25, the convenience fee. Is that what it was? I think it was $5.25. Yeah, fee, $5.10. So if you go and buy the tickets at the gate, you probably don't have to pay that fee. But that's completely up to you. I mean, if they come to a city near you, I highly recommend it. Nope. 10 out of 10 recommend it was really fun and um we enjoyed it and i would totally do it again i mean i loved it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh little mini vlog of mine and i do want to vlog more often when i do disney related i things or things that are fun and hopefully y'all liked it and uh, maybe this summer we'll have more vlogs coming your way so i hope you guys are doing well take care of yourself thank you so much for watching and for subscribing i'll talk to you soon bye